When you think of bees, honey and a sharp stinger come to mind, but there are hundreds of other species out there. Most bees don't live in hives and most bees don't make honey. And also most bees are not likely to sting you. Lincoln Best is a bee taxonomist for the Oregon Bee Atlas. 150 specimens in each box. He assesses tens of thousands of native bee records from around the state. As you're trying to track down itty bitty creatures that are everywhere. It's a monumental task. Oregon State University trains volunteers to collect and document bees for best to assess. This latest round gave him 25,000 records to go over. I spend about a year working on that material. And the result was 224 newly added species to the Oregon Bee Atlas for a total of 650 known species. One was this bee that exclusively lives in holes of dried lava beds. I'm kind of obsessed. Why do you have that passion? Why is this work important to you? It really provides a good foundation. Um, for studying other areas. Documentation includes how bees interact with plants that need pollination from these little creatures to survive. And people rely on those plants too. Seeds and nuts and fruits in flowering plants. Many bees are threatened by impacts of pesticides and climate change, and data help find solutions. It can aid forest managers and agriculturalists. BEST is now working to share research tools and training with other states and Canada to expand this work. And so if we want to find out if things are getting better or getting worse, we need a high resolution historical snapshot to compare things against. And truly find the secrets of bees. Galen Etlin, KGW News.